Hey, welcome to the Jetty Jet Show. We got a great show for you today. We're finally wrapping things up with the back view. Please start in the front view if you're you're lost and this is your first time seeing this because it's crucial that you start in the front so you can build your skill level to get to where we are here because this is a bit more advanced and I move a little fast. So, how do you become good? You want a good? This is how you're good. This is this. These are the very same steps that I took when I first started drawing the figure. For people who uh, know what's going on, please continue. First, lay down your eight heads rubric, uh, number them, and then draw the front view skeleton like we studied in lesson one. The layout for the front and the back are pretty much the same. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm erasing the feet because when you're viewing from the back, you'll see the heel. So round off the bottom a little bit. So what makes the back different from the front view? First thing you want to do is draw this uh, this cape. It's kind of V cape. It's going to be the uh, large portion of his back muscles all the way up to his shoulders. So you're going to draw this V shape actually. Um, one third down from the chin is the shoulders. What we're gonna do is attach the neck like this all the way up past the skull like this. So we're, we're seeing through, we're seeing through his head. So if you want, you can erase this part right here out. And we're gonna give him some arm bones like this. Now the key thing to remember about the arm bones is that is the directions of the lines and this goes for the legs too uh, doesn't matter so much how clean they are because remember we're gonna draw muscle over them so we'll be erasing them so the elbows el elbows line up with about five right here give them some give them a little notch right there come down again again with both sides like this the wrist lines up just right here, right? Just a little bit, just a little bit um, below the uh, the base of the pelvis, so somewhere around there. Then we're gonna draw these kind of vague shapes for the hand. They can be boxes, they can be ovals, but just stay loose. Then you're just gonna indicate kind of a, the back of his palm or his palm that. Now we're going to modify his ribs a little bit. Shave it off a little bit right here. Like this. Like that. Again, I really suggest you go practice the front view and the side view. And by the time you get to this view, it should be really kind of natural for you. And uh, you should at least do each uh, view at least five times. So you can get all this, uh, all these landmarks by memory. Right, let's just let's just modify his skull a little bit so it's not just a square and it's actually a circular shape. So round it off, round off the edges like this, round off the edges like that, and then this would be his jaws, like that. You can see the his jaws from the other side, and and we can draw these like dotted lines to kind of show his rib cage. Alright, so there you have it, our back view of uh, male skeleton, eight heads proportion. And uh, yeah, that was pretty quick. Um, for our next video, we'll just put some muscles on there.